Hey everybody and welcome back to this series here where we are going through our top three games for every single letter of the alphabet. Mm -hmm. What letter are we doing this week? W. Yeah, so full disclosure, we recorded a W video uh, a month ago yeah. and we had a memory card failure. So we already know what each other's lists are. Normally we don't. But uh, yeah, so this is a re-record and hopefully no problems this time. Yeah. So who do you want to go first? Uh, you. All right. So my number three is a game called Rec Raiders. <laughs> Don't act so shocked, you know. Um, Rec Raiders is a, is a pretty simple game, but a lot of different ways to score some points. So basically it's a dice drafting game where you are rolling these dice into a box um, where they land gives you uh, a potential bonus. Then everyone drafts the dice, uh, one die. And then you use those dice to send out divers like into the ocean to go get some treasures. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you use those, you can use those treasures to either put like in a little display case to uh, like fulfill uh, like requirements on cards, or you can use those treasures to buy like aquarium pieces. To build up no, some... No, those are the shells. The shells? Yes, yes, you're correct. The shells are the bonus that you use for... Um, yeah, for, for, for uh, getting aquarium pieces. Right. So you can... It's right, so let me back up. So when you get a treasure, you can either keep it face down, which is used for the display case, or you can flip it face up, which is like your archive, where you're trying to get as many of the... Like as many different ones as you possibly can and like fill up rows. Um... It's the same color. The rows ha need to be like the same color. I mean, they don't points. need. They, the, do they need points. to be? Yeah, right. For points, they do. So ideally, yes, that's what you want to do. That's your vault. Yes, vault. Okay, I said archive, but yeah. All right. So I, I I enjoy this game a lot. I think the turns go rather quickly. You draft to die, do something with it, buy something. Um, I think there's a lot of interesting decisions as far as like you know. Do I save up for this? Uh, because you have to try to arrange um, them in the proper order to match the cards. And then you get a bonus. That's, but then do. there's some like some different ways, like some shells that allow you to manipulate the order of them in different uh, ways. Yeah, because uh, Sea Star can like make it so that the, it can turn into other colors. Uh, uh, yeah, right. Oh, or there's one, there's the one where you can the like the you can get rid of the last one in the line. So if you needed to change it, that's. That's the um, vault in with the sea star. No, it's it's the it's a different shell. I don't know. I, I, anyway, oh uh, here's the thing. Do you like this game, Grayson? <laughs> um, for some reason, this game rubs Grayson the wrong way. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's I think it's a pretty good game. You know, a good game. But uh, I don't know. Grayson always has a bad experience with it for some reason. Um. <laughs> so, anyway, that's my number three. Rec Raiders. My number three is Welcome to. Okay. Um, so this is like a really well-known roll and write game. Yeah, it was one of the uh, like, earliest ones that kind of started the craze as of recent years, uh, I like think. Like flip and write and yeah. like, like all like the roll and write style sure. games. Um, you just, what you do is there uh, three cards are flipped. You can... There's you technically can, six cards visible. Yes. Um, but th three number cards are mm -hmm. flipped, and these these cards are you can put them in your house rows. Mm -hmm. Basically, you just want to make it so that it's in, in ascending order, because well, if it, you cannot have it out of ascending order. Yeah, you pick one out of the three possible mm -hmm. when there's numbers and then a power that's mm -hmm. above it, face down on the on the next card that's gonna flip. Yes, and the powers um, can like get you like tree points. Yeah, um, parks. Yep. They can make it so that the like because there's there's fences that can make certain amounts of areas, mm -hmm. and then there's real estate can, that can make those areas worth more. Mm -hmm. And then there's goal cards that usually have to do with fenced in areas. Yes, yeah. or other things depending on depending. if you have it, especially if you have a special map, which is like a bunch of. Yeah, there's a bunch of little expansions, but even then, sometimes you need you know like a whole row filled, or sometimes you just mm -hmm. need like three different sections of. Two build, you know, two buildings or whatever. Yes, and then um, you can, there's also pools in the back, yep. and then there's also there's construction that can make it so that you can change your value, but you also get some points for it. Yep, take up the number, up or down the number. Yep, yep. and then you also get some points for it um, depending on how much you have. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that. Um, am I missing anything? <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I think it's a pretty uh, well. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's my number two. Mm, yeah. Is is welcome too. Um, 
So uh, we'll talk about it together here. Yeah. So um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's a lot of fun. It's it's a game that I enjoy playing remotely too. I'll go on YouTube and watch somebody's playthrough and play along, and then see what good score I get. So I do play it by myself a lot, uh, but it does also work well in a group. Um, yeah. Basically, you're looking at you're looking at the six cards on the table, picking the two that match. You know that are that are, that are next to each other. Mm-hmm. And writing down numbers. That's really all you're doing. Flipping cards, writing numbers. Yep. Um, but I, ha- I have a really good time with that one. So, yeah. So that was your number three. My number two. All right. So what is my number two? What is your number two? My number two is Wormholes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wormholes. Wormholes is a fun little game. It's pretty short. It uh, is. I like to call it a super filler. Yeah, it's... Because it's a big game, but mm. it's short. But, like, it, it takes a little bit of setup time. Mm. So, what you do in this game is you pick up and drop off passengers, and you create, and you put down these wormholes mm-hmm. that allow easier travel yeah. through the planet. Yep. And, um, so, making it so that when you pick up your passengers, you can use these wormholes to travel and get to the planet much faster. Yeah, because there's, like, a map, a space map board that's set up differently every time. Um, and it has a bunch of planets. Yeah, so they're all in different locations all the time. Photon cannons. Which can launch you across the board. And other stuff like that. Mm-hmm. There's uh, some nebulas and s- orbits that allow you to move around easily. Mm-hmm. And, um, finally, there's... When you go through another player's wormhole, they get points. Yeah, they get points. Which means that sometimes you have to get give a lot of points to get your passenger through. But sometimes you want to uh, put it in a spot where people are going to need to use it, too. Mm-hmm. And then... Because the end of the game is triggered by all planets having a wormhole next to them. Cause yeah, which can go kind of quickly. Because when you place a wormhole next to a planet, you get points. So there's no real reason not to do so. Right, correct. Yeah, so it's points for putting wormholes, points for traveling, you know, people get points for traveling through other people's wormholes. And then finally, if you have, um, uh, there's a certain, there's a final, like, set bonus to, if you, like, for how, like, getting, like, as many oh, different planets as right. possible. Right, there's, like, a variety bonus, so you want, you don't want to just keep delivering to the same planets. But then it's a, it's a card draw anyway, so. So you do, so it kind of depends on that. Yeah, so you kind of have to work with the cards But sometimes cards you might getting. want to discard those cards because you're not near that planet. And then we discard cards, they go to the central space station. So then yes. if somebody's near that, they can go pick up the ones they want as opposed to, like, a random card draw. Yes. I don't know, I think that game works really well. I, I enjoy playing that game, too. That's another one that not everyone in our family likes, but that's okay. Because we enjoy it, right? Yeah. Okay. That was your number two? Yep. Well, I guess we're down to number ones already. <laughs> so, we have a joint number one. It might be kind of obvi- obvious. It might be kind of a boring pick, because it's a game everybody knows. Yeah, but it's... And what is it? it? It's good, though. What is it? It's Wingspan, yeah, obviously. Our number one is Wingspan. I mean, it, it's it's a good game. I know, it's a, it's a really fun game. I know not everybody likes it, but... Uh, thematically, it's all you're doing is you're drafting bird cards... And putting them in your board, and then they have special powers, right? That that's pretty much the whole game. But then you can get points of the birds, right? And so other stuff. right, so yeah, so basically, yeah, you you have uh, food for a resource, and you need to spend that food to place these birds in the three different like areas on your player board. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the the player boards are uh, like it's get food. Yeah. Like if you're activating the player board, it's get food. Um, Get eggs, or get or draw more cards. Yes. And then the farther down you, like the more you fill up those rows, with the, your birds, the better those three actions get. So like you can get more do- food yep. dice, you can get more yep. cards, and you can lay more eggs. Yep. And then, but yeah, but and then the birds themselves will have powers on them that to either to do all kinds of strange things like you know either getting more food or moving birds around or sometimes they just points it like you tuck them underneath mm-hmm. other birds underneath for co- for points at the end of the game um it's it's a pretty simple engine builder but there's a lot of variety um, yes, especially like as a, as the expansions a lot keep, of different birds <laughs> especially as the expansions keep coming out with right? a ton of different yeah. abilities too. yes right so um yeah i don't know wingspan is a game we have a lot of fun with um, yeah because i like an engine building game I, I i that's one of my favorite types of games i think and this one just has so much going on that you know that it's always going to be different because there's so many dang birds mm-hmm. <laughs> so um yeah anything else to say about wingspan no 
we do we have upgraded the pieces and the markers stuff. and stuff so as you're seeing pictures here these this is probably not what you're gonna get with the game but we have uh, like the gigant box yes right so they put out a big box recently uh, it's all the way on the top shelf there oh, which yeah. holds all the oh, expansions gosh, yeah, it's really big. plus extra expansions that are coming um, and there's also Wingspan Asia, which I don't think you've played, which is the two-player... No, but I've played with the Wingspan Asia birds. True, but like... Technically you... counts as a play of the it, game. <laughs> well, but but it comes with a board that has yes. um, like, a, like a little area to control type board that, that, that is good for two players. Yeah, I've seen you yeah. guys play it. I have not played it, though. You should probably maybe try that sometime. <laughs> All right, so... I think that's it. I think that covers our top three games that start with a letter W. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um, think I we're mean, good? Yeah. I okay. mean, it was kind of sad that the original video just died. Yeah, so no surprises here. We, you know, Like I said, we already knew our list, but that's okay. So yeah. now you know the lists too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, hey, thanks for watching. And we will uh, see you on the next one, which will be... The X's. Yeah, and X is going to be an interesting one. So stay tuned for that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Ready? I don't even have my. I don't even know where my W list is. I don't even remember what your W list was. You don't. Do you no. remember mine? There's one I don't remember.